Nope. Copper, cadmium, emerald, or indium. I know I have some cadmium in the storage container. Where'd it go? Phosphorus. Okay, cadmium. Let's make them all. Dropbox says, to get money, I remember you can try to find a star system that's been taken over by pirates. If you align with the pirate, you'll be able to raid ships and sell them. Ooh. Smuggling missions. Crashing an economy? Huh. Yeah, I have it, Jim. I don't have it installed. I, I bought it yesterday. So what you're saying is I should make that a priority to install. Um, I would need five micro... I do have a wiring loom in the bank. What do I have to make processors? Well, okay, there it is right there. I would need... I need a boatload of chromatic metal. So really what I need to do is I need to go on a uh, I need to go on a copper refining mission. <laughs> it looks like our copper mining expedition. Um, hmm. Let me look something up here real quick, everybody. Huh. So I'm 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 reading up on something. I'll have to figure this out. So I don't quite understand. I've heard, you know, somebody was here in chat earlier ranting about it, and people have said this every single day. Talking about adjacent tech bonuses for things. I'm reading up on it. What I really need is a screenshot or somebody's video. I haven't dug that deep into it. I just quickly Googled it right now and I, I I'm not seeing anybody with any quick screenshots. To, to show me what people are talking about when they say adjacent tech. Like, just put it next to each other. I'm like, what do you mean? You mean in these slots put it next to each other? Because I've done that, and I haven't seen any bonuses pop up. Not quite sure what I'm supposed to be looking at there. This is not something the tutorials have told me. This is something that lots of players have told me. I may just be incorrectly looking this up in Google. Um... Okay. Upgrade bonus. Ah, ah! I may have found it. I may have found. I, I found a wiki anyway. With how 
does that work? Hang on. It says, based on where the upgrades are positioned on the inventory page of a Starship Exosuit. This is the kind of stuff I should really be doing offline. Because this is not going to be something I'll be able to figure out quickly and easily. Because my brain doesn't work this way. All right. Okay, let's go back to the game here. Boosters and the upgrades should be next to each other. I mean, this is going to be stuff I have to figure out a long time. Like, I'm assuming it would be more for like, like here's life support. So the fact that I have, here's the question I have. If I have the oxygen drain next to the life support, it says life support upgrade. So the fact that I have it placed next to the life support, is that the correct way to do this? It just needs to be adjacent to? Like, yeah, this will be, because I don't see anything that's telling me that these have a bonus going on right now. That's the part that I don't quite understand. This is the shield, which would go with like, I can move this over here. And, like, wouldn't I move this up? Hazard protection system? You see they are synced because there is a blue border around them. Jesus, man. That blue border is, like so f freaking tiny and then over here it doesn't even have a blue and it has like a white border around these two hang on 20 percent that still says 20 percent it lost the it lost the th hang on hazard protection like this said 20 percent before this is what I'm confused about. I move it away. It's not linked anymore because it doesn't have the highlight around it. It still says 20% stats. I move it over. It now has the highlight around it, the same color, but it still only says 20%. So I'm trying to understand this, guys. Sorry, I'm trying to wrap my brain around this. This says 11%, and I unlink it. It still says 11%. I must be misunderstanding something. I do see the highlighting going on. Because as soon as I move it, they both have the blue highlight and these both have the, the white highlight. So that part I see happening. But maybe I'm just misunderstanding something. Uh, my water battery is critically damaged. How did that happen? Just Jim says, try your ship parts because that's where the stats go up. Okay, this might be a little more confusing. Pulse engine. Let's. So this begs the question of like, 
when you do upgrades, like making sure you buy upgrades in the, in the empty slots that you want so that you can properly align all these modules in ways that benefit everything. So this is a photon cannon upgrade. So this is the photon cannon. This is a landing system. This is launch system. This is hyperdrive. Hang on a minute here. So let's move this over here, right? And if this is the landing system, the vertical takeoff system, this has a negative 20% launch cost. So if I move it over here, it's now linked as a negative 20% launch cost. I'm not seeing any additional like stat adjustment. It does have the highlight now though. It's now linked via highlight. If I don't have, okay, one Noni Mill says there's a supercharged slot that appears bright blue and increases stats, thus increasing the tech alongside it. If you don't have a supercharged slot, that could be why it doesn't change. That makes total sense. Like if I'm not, like if you're supposed to have like a block and you connect the blocks to it and then that block upgrades your stats, that makes total sense because I don't have that going on here. Um, This is my photon cannon, and I've got an upgrade right here, so let's move this over out of the way. This shows a 1% fire rate. So if I move this... They're linked now. It still shows a 1% fire rate. Did my DPS go up or something? I didn't see if my DPS went up. Nope, still seems the same. Launch auto charger. That's just going as it is. Yeah, I haven't seen any stats change anywhere. It's all good. I There could be a bug. I could be doing it wrong. Could be user error. I may need a supercharged slot. I don't know. But that's as much time as I'm going to spend on, on a live stream today, everybody. At least I understand the linking now. Um... All right. What do we got next? Uh, what was I working on crafting? could install the where'd it go it's an exosuit personal refiner that's installed we're good okay now it's installed personal refiner is now installed Use refiner. Uh, let me move this out of the way. I need to fuel it. Okay, so now I can just essentially refine things on the fly, which is really cool. Sweet. Well, I've got fuel in it.
economy scanner. Uh, microprocessors are going to take me a little bit. Oh, hang on. I need to... Um... Refined chromatic metal. Yeah, I need so much more chromatic metal. Well, we could go... Um, I'm looking for a planet anyway. So why don't we go off and look to see if we can't find some... Um... Copper or something on another planet. I'm gonna take this with me just in case. Actually, you know what? I don't have to. Never mind. Never mind. I have a portable one with me. I just installed it. What a fucking hurt bird, man. I don't have to carry that anymore with me because I got the portable one. All right. Uh, let's just try another section of this planet first. See if I can't find some copper. One, nobody else says that's why different ships appeal to different people because some ships can have several supercharged slots together depending on the type of ship and who's selling it. Eshgrek says as you put the mods together, you can also watch your stats. Oh, well, I already saw that earlier. That's what I was reading earlier. Uh, Joseph says not everything raises all the stats even if they are linked. Well, you guys are confusing me because some people are saying yes and some people are saying no. Alright, we should be far enough away from my base that if I can find some copper over here or something. If not, we're going to go to another planet. Oh, am I just over a full body of water now? There might not be <laughs> any land here. Well, shit. Nice, Brett. What is this planet over here? What's it got on it? Look at all my HUD displays are bright white all of a sudden. That's got to be a bug, right? Ooh, this has frost crystals on it too, which I need. But yeah, I've got white screens on all my HUDs. Yeah, I know, Jim. I just, I'm, I'm also in the lookout for fun stuff, and I like exploring, so it's all good. Plus, I'm not wealthy enough to spend tons of money right now. Soon. I hope. This might work right here. Okay. Oh, we got a copper deposit right there. Ooh, we need frost crystals, don't we? I don't know what they look like. Dude, I like the red mist or whatever. I would assume frost crystals are like blue or something. It said they're on this planet. I wonder if I have to like find like the pole or something. Wait, what's that? That's not a frost crystal, is it? 
No, that's Blossom Knight. How am I earning passive credits right now? Oh, is it because I started that settlement quest the other day? I didn't actually do anything with that settlement. It's just sitting there. But is it, there was, I remember there being some sort of like... Credits per something there. I wonder if that's what it's coming from, because I keep getting updates that I'm earning credits, and I'm like, I'm not selling anything. Yeah, I saw that, that that one stone I can get um, also has uh, chromatic metal associated with it. I did see that. I always forget the silicate powder, sorry. I think I can use the silicate powder to recharge this damn thing. got next there's that one oh we've got multiples over here um dioxide i don't need dioxide silver i don't need silver subterranean organic structure oh everything i scan earns credits uh Okay, I didn't know that. That makes total sense. So every new scan you do, you're getting credits for like a discovery of that. So like this right here, where did it go? Unidentified mineral. I'll be damned. I never paid attention that I was getting credits for that. Thank you guys. Before you know. Alright, I still haven't found any, um... 
frost crystals. I know I needed frost crystals for something that we were looking at the other day. I don't need it for anything directly today. But I do remember looking at them and going, we need that for something. Identified plant. And we have... Frost crystals come from a blue... Well, this planet did tell me that it had them on it. I just don't know what they look like. Same like these. These are the normal crystals. Frost crystals are a plant. Okay. I may just be in the wrong area of the planet. Is that what this is right here? No. Oh, that's just one of those uh, system boosts. Sweet root. I suppose I could just go look for it. I haven't tried that yet. Go to the log. Uh, sorry, catalog and guide. That would be frost crystal. What would that be under? I have no idea. Crafting components. Well, it's not something I need. Uh, you will see a grove of them. Technically, they're also visible from the air. Dawn of Mutilation says it's as tall as a man. Then it says big plant with glass crystal on top. Okay, so, well, I'll, I'll find them long term. I just happen to remember that they were on the planet. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, we were working on the starship. We needed stuff for the microprocessors, which was lots of like copper for stuff. All right, so let me, um, I have this refining pack now. Use it. And I can stuff all this copper in there. And I can begin. Out of sheer curiosity, is that gonna show up on my, um, does it actually show that rotating on the back of my suit right now? Oh, it totally does. That shit is cool. Okay, that is really cool to have my personal refiner going and the fact that it's like showing my character like it's sitting there spinning as it's refining. That's pretty awesome. Sweet. All right, well, that's a step in the right direction because I think that was the only harvestable, uh, that was the only copper I found on this planet. What else could we do, though? 